Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my channel once again. And we are now in day six of my Apollo 11 week. And this is day six, of course, of the real Apollo 11 missions. And today's the day, 50 years ago, on the 21st of July, 1969, at 2.56 UTC AM, Neil Armstrong took the very first steps of any human being on an, another planetary body, the moon followed shortly 20 or so minutes later by Buzz Aldrin. What an historical event. This has been an interest of mine since I was a kid and to reach 50 years is astounding for me and it sends shivers up my spine even now when I watch, still watch the clips that I have done watched probably hundreds of times before. So I want to share that with you right now and I think it'd be very remiss if I didn't share the, that particular that historical event when he took those first steps and spoke those very famous words. So that's enough of me. Let's play the clip and I hope you enjoy. Okay, everything's nice and stayed in here. Okay, can you pull the door open a little more? Right? Yeah. Okay. If you can get the mace out. I'm going to pull it now. And the Mesa came down, all right. Houston, Roger, we copy, and we're standing by for your TV. Houston, uh, this is Neil, radio check. Neil, this is Houston, loud and clear. Break, break, Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, radio check and verify TV circuit breaker in. Roger, TV circuit breaker's in. And page five, clear. Roger. And we're getting a picture on the TV. TV. Okay. We got a good picture, huh? Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out uh, a fair amount of detail. Okay, we can verify the position, uh, the uh, opening I ought to have on the camera. Stand by. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's uh, that isn't collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Pretty good little jump. Buzz, this is Houston, F2, 1 one a second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, although the surface appears to be uh, very very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the lamb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's the uh, 
purpose is fine and battery. I can I can pick it up loosely with my toe. It does adhere to, in the fine layers, uh, like uh, powdered charcoal, to the uh, to the sole and sides of my boot. I only go in a uh, small fraction of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I can see the footprints of my uh, boots and the treads in the fine sandy particles. Neil, yeah, this is Houston. We're copying. Um, there seems to be no difficulty in moving around as, as we suspected. Uh, it's even perhaps easier than the simulations of 16G that uh, we performed uh, in various simulations on the ground. Absolutely no trouble to uh, walk around. The uh, Ethan engine did not leave a crater of any size. It uh, has about one foot clearance on the ground. We're uh, essentially on a very level place here. Uh, I can see uh, some evidence of, uh, of rays emanating from the descent engine, but uh, very insignificant amount. Are we ready to uh, bring down the camera? I'm all ready. I think it's uh, two miles squared away in good shape. Okay. Okay, you'll have to pay out all the LEC. Now, it looks like it's coming out nice and evenly. Okay, it's uh, quite dark here in the shadow and a little hard for me to see that I have good footing. Uh, I'll work my way over into the sunlight here without looking directly into the sun. Okay, it's taut now. Unofficial time on the first step, 109-2420. historical event and even watching that maybe for the hundredth time or even the thousandth time over the years it still sends shivers up my spine when I hear those words so that's enough from me and I hope you enjoyed this video and this clip um, I hope, also hope you've enjoyed the series of videos on Apollo 11 I'm going to be taking um, a couple of days off to spend a bit of time with my family I'll be back again on Tuesday um, and also Wednesday where we'll be finishing off some more videos uh, culminating on Splashdown Day on Wednesday the 24th. Also on Wednesday the 24th from 11pm I'm going to be live streaming a f uh, Falcon 9 launch which is the CRS-18 mission which is a resupply mission to the um, ISS. Um, so I'll be live streaming from around about 11pm uh, that's 11pm BST British summer time so I hope you can join me then. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe 
um, and also hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when you upload more videos. I want to finish off by thanking my Patreons. Thank you very, very, very much for your support. It means a great to deal to me and I hope you can continue with your support uh, going forward. So that's enough from me. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching.